Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining Century Spice Road. In Century Spice Road, we are all spice merchants uh, trading spices to be able to claim the points that exist on these cards. You'll notice at the bottom of those cards. Uh, you'll also notice that there is a pile of gold coins and silver coins. They are worth extra points. So gold coins are worth three, silver coins are worth one. The way you claim those coins is by claiming the spice card directly below the coin. So if I claim this one, I would take the gold coin that was directly above it, and that is now worth 16 points, three plus the 13. Once that has been taken, I would then move all of the cards down and reveal the next card that we're aiming for. And that will continue until one of the players has five of these cards claimed, or six if it's a two-player game. At which point, everyone will cease and count up how many points they have on those cards and the coins, and whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. It's as simple as that. Now, because this is a spice trading game, the way to claim these cards is through relinquishing spices of the colors listed on the bottom of the card. Spices are represented by these cubes along the left hand side. So in order for me to be able to claim the first of the spice point cards, I would need to have these spices available in my caravan to be able to trade in for the card. So two green and three red would gain me this card and of course the coin that is above it. Since we only start with a small number of the yellow spices, or if you're further down the player order in a um, higher player count game, you may have one of the red spice cubes. How do we get to the point where we have the different colored spices to be able to use? It comes down to trading. Trading is done with cards that look like this. So if I had this card in my hand, I could play it out of my hand and trade my three yellow spices for one red, and one green. Now everyone starts with these two cards in their hand, uh, so when you play this one you'll get two more yellow into your caravan. Your caravan is this board, you've got a maximum size of 10 spices on that board. If you go above that you need to relinquish some at the end of your turn, so you're limited to 10 cubes at the end of each turn. The other thing you can do is play cards like this, which allow you to upgrade. Now upgrading is important, and in fact, the order of these spices is important. An upgrade is moving from yellow to red, or red to green, or green to brown. Now you're able to upgrade one yellow to a red, and then upgrade that red to a green with that card, or you're allowed to upgrade two yellow to two red, or two red to two green, or two green to two brown. At any point during your turn, you may decide that you don't have enough cards or you want some of the cards you've already played, and you, your turn can look like just literally picking those cards back up into your hand. Now when you gain cards from this row, the entire row will shift down and we reveal one more card. If you wish to take a card that isn't on the leftmost end, you'll need to pay for it. So you're going to pay one spice onto every card that's further left than the one you want. So if I want this card, for example, I would have to pay two spices in order to take that card into my hand. That is pretty much all of the rules. So really quickly, I'll just summarize for you. You have one action you're able to do on each turn. The list of actions that you can do are as follows. You can play a card from your hand, you can acquire a card, and if there's any spices on that card, you can take them with you. That comes into your hand. You can rest to claim the cards you've previously played, or you can, if you have the appropriate spices, claim one of the cards that will give you points at the end of the game. That's it, that's the entire game. So, go on and watch my uh, playthrough video, the Gabe's Blade video, to get a real good feel for how it runs, and I hope this helps you get Century Spice Road to the table. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you wish to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email at thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to see what games I've been playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining, and until next time, enjoy gaming.